We have an awesome show for you guys today. The greatest defender of all time. Good news for the sport. Welcome to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros. We're here in the Jump for Joy studio. We're so glad you joined us. We have an awesome show, Rick. Yep, it's the Olympic show. We have Leslie Law here, uh, just flying in from Rebecca Farm. Thank you, Leslie, for being here. But we're gonna take a little break and because we're doing a new format show, aren't we? Yeah, I hope everybody likes the new format. It's gonna be really cool. We're gonna see what happens. Be a couple less commercial breaks, um, but we're gonna take one right now and we'll be right back. Boom. Want to advertise on the John and Rick Show? Contact John at 352-875-8622 or call Rick at 850-879-2649. For a horse owner on the road, your trailer is essential. No one enjoys being stuck on the road. At Horse Trailer Pros, we repair, renovate, and maintain all makes and models of horse trailers. We work directly with your insurance company or manufacturer for warranty repairs and insurance claims. Our state-of-the-art facility provides quick turnaround and friendly customer service. Considering a living quarter conversion, we do those too. Find comfort on the road with Horse Trailer Pros. Call or text 352-804-2131, horsetrailerpros.com. Hey, we're back. New show format, Horse Trailer Pros is our title sponsor. Chump for Joy is our studio sponsor. It's an Olympic year. Paris is around the corner, John. It's like in two days. Oh my gosh. So crazy. Yeah. So we are going to bring you a full show with Leslie Law. That has a lot of insight, not only for the world teams, but specifically our team, because he's been working very closely with a lot of our riders. Yep. Um, so it's great to have him. And not only that, he was the what? The winner. Of? Uh, some Olympic somewhere. 2004. <laughs> Athens. The Athens Olympics gold and medalist. And a fun fact, it was the first time that Olympics had two show jumps in it. Right. Which worked out well for Les. Yeah, it did. Yeah. So we're going to hear all about the teams, our team picks, our heart picks, our, our paper, paper picks, our homers, our hummers, or everything's going to come on now. That's right. That's right. Yes. So it's cool. You're going to learn all about that stuff. Why do you get uncomfortable? I don't get uncomfortable. I'm always uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so funny how you act. <laughs> I know this is, it's anything, not an act. Anything to say before we move along to the really yeah, no, grit we, and grime of stuff? No, I think uh, I'm, first of all, yeah, it is so much better in here. It is. It's, it's, I want to say thank you to you because I was struggling with how to keep the temperature in this studio the right temperature so that our guests were comfortable without spending a fortune on it. And we did this show and you looked at me at the end and said, this is horrible. Get an air conditioner. <laughs> right. I'm like, what are we doing? No, we can I mean, get an air conditioner. All I do is look at the numbers and say, I think we can afford that little box in the window. Yeah. So right. I think it worked out well. It's great. So yeah, and, and, and I want you. I installed it. I'm basically an air conditioning expert. And now. it's amazing. But look at, take a picture of it now because next year ain't gonna look like that. We'll just get another one because we yeah, can afford it. Yeah, it's true. Just throw it out. And move we're, on. We're just we're doing everybody. So well. if, if, I know <laughs> Leslie's turning around and he's in the studio already. Watch us look at the. Air <laughs> you know you're a low budget <laughs> podcast when the exciting thing is a window <laughs> in unit window, air yeah. conditioner. But let me tell you what else it did. Everybody out there, if you're listening or watching, it made the place smell better too. Well, no, I got an air freshener because oh, you kept telling God. me it smelled terrible in well, here. Well, I don't know what you were doing in look, here. It's but a it barn like... apartment studio I that I made on a front porch. I know, I know. But hey, it's beautiful. I appreciate it being here. It's a great studio. We have a great show. Are you excited about Paris? I am excited about Paris. But I'm excited about being able to watch it. So can you explain to me, mm -hmm. how, do we, how do we watch it? All right, so for the United States, it's on Peacock. Okay. All right. So Peacock is, is an so app. You just you can, have to have the app and you can yeah, get it all. Yeah, download it. You can, you can watch it. I don't know if that Peacock, I get it because it's on my direct TV, Peacock. I think you can get the app and pay for it. Yep. Um, go to a, and we talk about this a little bit later, go to a vending nation, actually. Yep. You're going to see times for your zones. I got Central Pacific Mountain. They have Eastern Europe, Central Europe. They have Australia, Western, they have everything on there okay. of when you want to watch it, no matter where you are. 
And they also, if you look carefully, Lucinda, a uh, call out to you, I know you commentating, but we sent you the link and there are click buttons within the link that you can look at, which he sometimes misses. Right. So if you click on the media link, you can see all this stuff. And again, Sally Spickard at Eventing Nation did a great job putting this all together or other team members there at Eventing Nation, thanks for doing it because it's brilliant. Um, so I haven't been reading the whole WhatsApp group with Lucinda. Is she commentating at the Olympics? Yes, with Kyle. And oh, with John Kyle. Mm -hmm. So what, John Kyle. Um, so if I listen on Peacock, will it be her or do they have their own separate It will people? be Peacock, her. It will be Peacock. What does that mean? Peacock will be her. <laughs> so Lucinda will be on Peacock. Yes. Awesome. Sweet. And she does... Now at Tokyo, she did... All of it. She did dressage. She did. Show she did. Jumping. She'll be the whole. She'll be all the whole of the All of so it's Her and John Kyle. I think uh, Spencer's over there too. I'm not quite how Spencer is moving in. If he's announcing, like live menu. announcing, right? Um, those two are the commentators. How they transition. John Kyle explained this to me during one of his his workshops at Kentucky. Um, they formulate the commentators. They have German commentators. They have all these different commentators. Right. And then they pass them off to the media outlets that, that present that going in. Okay, so because Lucinda speaks English most of the time, um, <laughs> Pretty, occasionally yeah. not, but most of the time. At least we understand Leslie. Yeah. Yes, all the time, actually. Um, so, But Lucinda will do... Basically, all of the English she'll speaking do. countries. Yep. Got it. Okay. That she'll makes be sense. she'll be the color, and uh, right. John yeah. will be um, the facts right. in, in the process. Um, and they did Tokyo together. I think that's so. called play by play. Yeah, play by play. I'm going to teach you lots of new words today. Homer. Yeah. Great. Um, well, like that one word that Sh um, Sinead was trying to teach me, the clickbait. Oh, clickbait! I got it. How could you go? So yeah. clickbait which I never knew this before, is not something you use to fish. It's something that you use on the internet to get to another place that you want to watch. Yeah. That was a clickbait for you. Right. So like if we wanted you to go to horsetrailerpros.com, which I don't know that that is their website, but if it were, we would be like, oh, we'd show a fancy little picture. And you'd of, clickbait And it. you'd click it. Yeah. Exactly. Something like that. So exciting, exciting thing. times. We're so fun. We really, I'm having a great time. Um, Isn't this much relaxing you don't have to watch the clock i feel great i was i mean yeah it's gonna be fun today yeah it's gonna be awesome uh so should we get to less let's get to less all right so we're gonna be right back with leslie law in the we're jump gonna, for joy studio yeah can i say this it's gonna be more with less okay that was so clever <laughs> <laughs> i can't wait yeah awesome we're gonna be back for more with less Equibrew, now available in the USA. It's a live probiotic that you feed daily to your horses. The live microbes go into your horse's gut and cleans up the gut wall, creating a healthy gut system. Equibrew is an essential part of my feeding program. My horses love to eat it, and it does a really good job of promoting gut health and also good behavior and great performances. It's something I recommend for all of your horses, no matter what they do in their careers. It's so affordable, I can use it on all of my horses in the barn, not just my top horses. Order Equibrew today by going to BrickfieldNutrition.com or calling 850-879-2649. Jump for Joy fences are easy to move, lightweight, durable, and low maintenance. So we're out here on the cross country. We just finished over in the show jumping over the Jump for Joy fences. Had a great time schooling over them. They're really nice and easy to move, so we were able to adjust some things and really have the exact school that we needed thanks to the Jump for Joy fences. I love them. Order yours at jumpforjoyusa.com. Aero helmets represent real change for equestrian helmets, offering patented new technology and an unparalleled level of safety testing. It is the only Snell certified helmet with MIPS on the market. Aero visors are interchangeable, meaning you can wear your Aero three ways, with a formal visor, a sun visor, and as a skull cap. Our shimmable liner means you can customize the fit for your head and your hairstyle. Upgrade to Aero today. Grant Showalter has over 15 years of equine bodywork and saddle fitting experience. 
His technique allows him to identify and alleviate tightness in muscles. He uses trigger point massage to release points of restriction. Grant has over a decade of experience fitting and adjusting a wide variety of saddles. His expertise in equine physiology coupled with a thorough understanding of the importance of a properly fitted saddle allows him to quickly identify and correct any balance issues. Grant can also adjust your saddle on site. Grant works on all of my competition horses, and I have noticed a significant improvement in their performance at competitions and their overall way of going. Grant's based in Ocala, Florida year-round, but regularly travels to the surrounding areas. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 484-639-4454. Hi, my name's Leslie Law, and we are a proud supporter of Jump for Joy. We've been using their portable cross-country jumps now for about 10 to 15 years. We love these jumps because, as you can see, they're very easy to move. We don't need to take another person on the other side, and I could place this fence wherever I wanted to very easily. Welcome back to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros, and we are here in the Jump for Joy studio. The Olympics are coming. They Yay. are right here, <laughs> and we are so excited because actually we are still in the, what's the name of your Equibrew? Oh, Equibrew. What's the name of my Equibrew? What's the name of your Equibrew? Equibrew. Oh, we are, oh, we are in the Equibrew here, segment yeah. here yeah, with that's right. the one and only Leslie Law. Leslie, thank you for joining us. Equibrew. There you go. Endorsed by a gold medalist. Yeah. There, there go. we go. There we go. like it. Um, yeah, so it's exciting. It's an Olympic um, week. We're getting ready. It's coming up this weekend. We have an Olympic gold medalist with us and very involved with the United States team. So it's great to have you here. Thank you. Ah, thanks for having us. We've got a, Looking book, forward to the... got a book full of facts. Yeah, that's good. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I did like all the show prep you guys were doing. It was, it was well done. Yeah, yeah. We, were, we were flipping through and yeah. looking and seeing. Checking and, it all out. Yeah. There's a lot of, you know, and I, I, a kudos to Avini Nation. It's who I pulled it from. So I, I did pull the book. Thank you, guys. Sally, you've done a great job, and everybody else on the team there putting stuff together. Even gives you uh, when you can watch it. So everybody go to a vending nation. You can look and see what in your time zone that you can watch the Olympics, where, on what broadcast. Um, and then I did get a, a message from Kyle um, telling me how you could watch it no matter what. So I do have a fallback for all of us. I can share with you two. That'd be Fantastic. Great. I'm going to be in I'm I'm actually northern Wisconsin for that, so I'm going to need it. I'm going to be in Indiana. Oh, it's going to be tough when you're teaching a clinic. Actually, I'm teaching a clinic Saturday and Sunday. Oh, yeah, I'm teaching Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, yeah, you've got to be up at 3 a.m. Perfect. 3 a.m. start. You'll be fine. Sorry uh, about the people in the clinic. Yeah, <laughs> you might be a little tired. Well, what you do is you go to sleep at 7. Yeah. You wake up at 3, and then you can watch until your thing starts. I love it. Start it again. There you go. Oh. Yeah, that, that's what you do. All right, well, what, what's the big insight for everybody? We're going to Paris. You've been involved a lot. Tell us what, what's the scoop. What's going on? With Paris? Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I think uh, obviously I've been obviously involved with the U.S. to some degree. Um, right. But more so obviously in the, in the emerging and the developing programs. Which you've been doing really good, um, Leslie. Well, and... Um, I mean, I think it's 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 a big shout out for the programs. Obviously, that uh, Caroline is at at the Olympics. Yeah. Um, you know, she's certainly came has come through those through those programs, and uh, so uh, it's fantastic to hopefully see that the those programs are working. Um, and the, the fact that we have somebody that is representing the U.S. and uh, Re really truly deserves it and um, has come through come through that yeah i think john and i john we talked about that i mean i think i've heard back back chatter about it and i was like look she was flawless in her development all the way up through it and that that took a lot of horsemanship and a lot of things that she put together but i think the programs really built it for her and i mean one wrong turn and she wouldn't have been on the olympic team but she didn't have a wrong turn so I think those programs all worked out for us. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think, I think there's, there's a lot of things that, you know, get you to an Olympic Games. There's, right. There's, there's many, yeah, many... Many layers. Many cogs in the wheel type of thing. And um, so, uh, you know, I think obviously a lot of it is down to the rider and the horse and, and the program they develop and the system that they use and to get there. And, um, 
you know, I think we're just, you know, the program is, is, a, is a small part and being able to have mentored that. And, um, but at the end of the day, I truly believe it comes down to the athlete and, you know, them taking on board what, what, is, what is necessary and what, what you need to do. And, uh, you know, I think Caroline's used uh, many resources and, um, and, and good on her. Right. Good for her. So, so, so you're saying it was all because of you? <laughs> I'm saying we were a small part. Yeah, okay. oh, right. But let's okay. talk, okay. since we're talking about the United States, right? Yeah. Which we should. We're starting off our Paris, um, Paris talk about the Olympics. We're going to name the team. So we've got Boyd Martin on Fetterman B. Yeah. We have uh, Will Coleman on Off the Record. We have uh, Caroline Poop Machu. Pumuchku, which Caroline, I I, I'm always Pumuchu. trying to work on your name. Pumuchku. Isn't, isn't it just, uh, is it, am I, hold on, I gotta get this right. It's Pumuchku. I thought it was Pumuchu. She told me it was like Pikachu, but Pumuchu. <laughs> That's literally what she told me. Caroline. What is it, Leslie? Uh, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Caroline. On HSH Blake, the horse we've been talking about, who went through, he was the five year old, I think he was the, was he a five year old champion? Uh, yes. On the USEA young horse. Yeah. And then on up and was high ranked at, at uh, Lemu- uh, not, where's the Leon Bonge? Yep. He, did he win that or was he second? He was like top. He was in the top. No, I, I, he was, he was, I mean, yeah. I mean, he was he, in the top. He was up there. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we have the reserve is Liz Halliday on, um, Mick, not Mix Master C. It's a Cooley. Mm, no. Cooley Nutcracker, isn't it? Yep. Yes. Thank so God, there's the United States. I knew I contribute at some point. Yeah, well done. <laughs> There's the United States team. We, we talked about Caroline. Give us your insights about uh, Fetterman B and Boyd Martin. Well, I mean, I think, you know, I think Boyd's right now at, probably at the height of his career, um, and I'm sure he's going to stay there for, for a number of years. Um, you know, like I said, talking about systems and, um, how, you know, how riders, you know, put, put together whatever is necessary. I think, you know, Boyd obviously is, you know, he works extremely hard and um, I think he looks at all, all aspects so that nothing is left unturned, um, you know, and I think, uh, I, think he's got a, I think he's got a really good horse for this, for this competition. Um, you know, the, the cross country is solid. It, it uh, you know, from what, from what we know about what the cross country course might look like, it should suit Federman B. It's probably going to be a little bit twisty. Um, and that's a horse that you can probably just keep galloping and coming to the jumps and, uh, you know, it should be, you know, the, possibly the, you know, we, we hope the time is going to be influential in order to make it a good competition. And I think that horse is a fast horse because of the way it goes. Um, following on from the cross country, it's, a, you know, I mean, obviously Boyd has worked extensively of, over the last few years with Peter Wilde and, it's a good jumper, and Boyd is obviously extremely polished in that in that discipline now. And you know, I mean, with the Olympic Games having two show jumping rounds, um, you know, that horse is and that horse and Boyd are extremely capable of jumping two clear rounds, which, as I know, can is is extremely <laughs> important. <laughs> it worked out. It worked out. It for really you. worked out. Um, so, you know, and again, I think the horse, you know, the, the horse can do a good dressage test and, um, you know, he's obviously got his wife, Silver, who hopefully has got that well polished up. And I think, I think Boyd's, you know, Boyd's there with a, with a chance if everything goes right. How do you feel? Well, I'm concerned because I watched you shouldn't be. a Facebook video of Boyd. <laughs> With his kids? His kids, oh, I think I it was a birthday great. party, and he was riding a bike downhill over a ramp and jumped it into a pond. <laughs> and I just hope they have him under control over there in France yeah. right now so that he just doesn't, like, be Boyd. Yeah. <laughs> no, but he's going to be awesome. Like, yeah, I'm that doesn't excited. bother me. I think everybody needs to let off steam. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For sure. It was I, funny. It was on Facebook and people were, I exactly people were commenting. What they were What's like, going on? Boyd, you got the Olympics in 10 days. Don't what are you hurting yourself. He, I'm like, he's Boyd. That's what well, Boyd does. I, I, I just hope he does a better job at the water jump than he did on that bike. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, and the big, the big um, shout out and then and the heart story goes with Ann Good, uh, Annie Goodman. 
and at that being her horse and, and three years since her death. And I think it's a testament to her family, the horse getting to the Olympics. I think that's a really big story to follow. And it's I huge. think, yeah. you know, yeah, Boyd, absolutely. I think Boyd said it best when I read some of his stuff and talked to him a little bit about it. He goes, you know, it wasn't an easy partnership in the beginning. And, and it took him a little bit to kind of win over uh, that. I don't even know his bar name. Do you know? No. Nope. No, I mean, no, but I think Boyd's absolutely right. I remember, I remember seeing Boyd at uh, Malvern Park on it early in their relationship, uh -huh. and uh, you know there was there was definitely you know some, some mis mis miscommunications. But like I said, he's he's an ultra professional, and uh, he took his time. And I think he's hopefully, I think hopefully for the U.S. and for him, he's he's peaking at the right time with that horse. I agree. I, I just thought it was pretty cool. And um, seeing that, why don't you talk about the, the third person in this on this the solid so, team and then the reserve? So we've got Will Coleman. Yep. yep. And that's off the record, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, to me, when I see, when I think of like a classically correct rider, one of the first people I think of is Will. So I'm excited to see what we can do with the horse. But what are your what are your thoughts on him and where he's at? And where yeah. He's at? No, I think you're you're absolutely right. I mean. You know, Will is is very classical, um, and again, I think you know has the experience now. Um, you know, he's you know he's he's got the experience, and uh, I think this again, you know, I think this could you know this could be his Olympics. Um, he's again, I think he's the ultra professional. He's he works very hard. Um, I think he's left hopefully no stone uncovered. Uh, you know, I mean he's. You know he's very, very thorough in the way he prepares his horses, and uh, and I think he's yeah I think he's in a good place. Uh, Tim has got all the experience. Um, that's off the record. Right. Um, he's got all the experience again. And one Aachen on that one, right? He did. Yes. yes. Off the record, with, yeah. it was with, with, last, with, last yeah. year. It was last year, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. Julia yeah, won the yeah, right. two two years ago. Yeah. Not this year. Not last year. I thought it was last year. Okay, whatever. Run it recently. One of the year. Yeah. He, he won it recently. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think, you know, I think he, you know, I think he'll, you know, really sort of blossom there. And, um, you know, I think the horse has got the experience. Will's got the experience. Good jumper. Um, can be good on the flat. And, uh, you know, again, he, I mean, Will's a good quick rider these days. Um, you know, and I think, you know, I think all in all, I think the U.S., you know, everybody needs a little bit of luck, and uh, but I think, uh, you know, we're we're hopefully in a strong position. That's a, it's an exciting team. Yeah, it really is. And then we have Liz Halliday Sharp on um, Cooley Nutcracker, yeah. a good reserve. Um, has done. She's been over in Europe with several horses, competing and and going. And I think um, were you coaching her anywhere recently? Well, no, Liz, Liz was um, obviously, she was in Arkham recently mm -hmm. and, um, you know, um, Bobby and I, Bobby Costello and I were, were both in Arkham there. Um, obviously, Bobby's team manager, chef to keep, whatever, whatever title you'd like to choose. And, um, you know, Bobby asked me to go out to Arkham, I think mainly because uh, three of the athletes, in the in the team on Arkan there had come through the program we, you know we had James Allison who had, had been in development last year and now is up in pre elite uh, we had Alyssa Phillips who's in development and Hallie Kuhn who had been in the program in emerging and development uh, so I think you know Bobby asked me to go over right. for Arkan um, which uh, it was a hard decision, but I said yes in the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, and, and Liz was Liz was also on the team. But I mean, we very much encouraged these riders. Like like I said earlier, we very much encourage these riders now to have have their own coaches, have their own trainers, mm -hmm. um, you know, and have their system. Uh, I think that's. I think that is important, and um, you know, then when we're in a in a competition scenario like that, it's you know, they often have their coaches there, and we're really there just to you know make sure everything is is going to plan and give the support, and you know, obviously there's there's strategy as to uh, who you put first, second, and third in the Olympics in this situation is one, two, three, and four, and so uh, you know, it was it was 
are really good. I really enjoyed Arkan. I thought all four were extremely professional and it was it was fun to be on the sidelines there with Liz and she's an ultra professional and I agree. Uh, it was it was great. Hey, and a shout out to Hallie Coombe because I know probably I don't know this for a fact. But I know she must have been told, you know, we got three solid team scores in. Go out there and, and, and see what you can do. And I I've never seen her ride quite as well as I saw her ride there. It was just bad luck at the end when the mayor kind of had a little thing at the the Chevron, but you know I thought she did a great job, even though she had a thing right in the ring in the ring. So yeah, no, they they all did a great job. We we knew before Holly went out that um, we couldn't be worse than second. Right. Um, so yeah, we you know we wanted Ali to go out and and obviously hopefully record a you know a clear round and obviously a fast time because that would that would put pressure on the Brits sure. to have to go out and get a get a get a good good time. You know, and so, um, you know, that's, that's how teams work out and um, yep. that's the strategy in the end. And then I think you've got to be really on the ball because it's, it's you, know, for, you know, for the riders have to be on the ball. I think management have to be because it's happening very fast. You have to know the results that are coming in really quick and where, you, you know, what, whether you could move up, move right. down. And um, it's, it's a really important part of it. And in the Olympic Games, with, with now with three and all three scores counting, I think the strategy is extremely important. I agree with you. John, your insights? Um, so who did the math? That's what I want to know. It wasn't Bobby, because <laughs> he's told me before he doesn't do the math. So the math Emma, was kind of hard you? to do, too, because I was trying to calculate it when it was going. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of variables going on. No, I mean, we were doing it as we went along. Do you um, usually use all your fingers and toes? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Now, we, you know, we had our paper and pen, and we were writing it down, and... Uh, we we knew exactly you know we knew exactly each time a rider went out you know where you were at where we were at in each in each sort of rotation. So you didn't answer the question. Um, who did the math? I think Bobby did it actually. Really? I'm going to give Bobby the credit. I apologize, Bobby. He was I, sat there with his pen and paper, and uh, I, I think was, Bobby's pretty good. I was out there, sort of you know, right? I've seen where him do are that. we? Let's give, let's give him the instructions for the next one on the cross country. Awesome. I'm going to give him the credit for that. Good. Go I think we need to move on to some um, competition for the U.S. at the Olympics. But I've got something I want to give some insight on. And that is what the reserve riders are there for. So, Leslie, we have a, th a format that started in Tokyo. Yeah. Three riders, one reserve. And rats. You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> They're not in here. So, so I took the liberty of reading Sally Spickard's way of analyzing how this works. And this is what I've come up with. Do you want me to hear how it works? I would yes. love to understand yes. this, please. Right, definitely, because, uh, yeah. It's... Here we go. All four horses jog in the first inspection. Yes. Okay? Yes. Because what can happen is you can substitute... The reserve rider in for the team up to two hours before the start of dressage with no penalty. Right. Okay? Hey, that's kind of what we've always known forever. Right. Right. So, dressage goes on. And let's say for any reason the horse comes out and something happened and it clipped itself and it can't go on to cross country because it's lame. Or the rider got hurt in the barn and can't ride. You can substitute for the cross country one time the reserve rider, twenty penalties. Okay. Okay. Only twenty because the rider or the horse was injured. Same thing is true for cross country. So if cross country happens, horse is injured, not not limit. It finishes, it finishes the cross country, but it's injured and can't present the next day, or it gets presented and doesn't pass. The reserve comes in. What about riders? The riders injured? Is it the same? Same thing. Okay. Twenty penalties. But if a horse is eliminated in dressage and they want to go on, it's a hundred. Okay. Okay. If the horse is eliminated in cross country and it's going on, it's two hundred. If it's eliminated cross country and you use the reserve, it's two hundred and twenty because you're using the twenty. To use the reserve, right. right, and that's how that moves through. That makes way more sense than when I was saying it was ten thousand points. 
So, yeah. yeah. I didn't realize <laughs> the 20, and, and, you know, Sally, I think, gave, gave a disclaimer. If this is wrong, please, somebody <laughs> shout out. There's some other calculations. That's why I'm glad you're explaining it. <laughs> that's the best way to explain it, kind of, like, bottom yeah. ground line. It's, that, and that's the best explanation I've heard, so thank you for that. Yeah. I still, and then I want to get on, we need to go to We team, need to go to the next Britain, But the I will team. just say, I still think it's wrong. Not because maybe it's wrong, but because I think there if should be we are struggling writers. to understand it, how is the general public going to understand it? They're not, it? because right. I agree. Yeah, yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah. Anyway, so. Let's, let's go. Who is the biggest, so you've got the U.S. Who's the biggest competition? Who is in the, three, uh, in the top five positions for the teams that, in your mind? Well, I mean, I've, I think everybody agrees that probably Great Britain are going to start favorites. Um, then I think Germany. Uh, I think then, um, you know, I think it's very close probably between uh, New Zealand and the U.S. Um, and then obviously you should never, ever count out the French, on, especially on um, home okay. soil. Mm -hmm. um, so there's five, but I mean, Australia have a, have a great record in the Olympic Games. So now I'm named six. That's fine. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Um, you Who know, else? so... Uh, you know, I think uh, well, let's start those there. Are the let's start with, with Great Britain. Then we yeah. got we got uh, the team. What we got? We got Roslyn Carter. Canter. Canter. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it, this is right. This that. is what he does. It's, well, it's from here, and I'm looking at the R. <laughs> it's not an R. <laughs> Roslyn Ca uh, Canter. Canter. What does she? Who is she writing? Uh, Lordship Gruffalo. Yep. Yeah. What? That, this is a solid, solid person here. Roz is like amazing. Yeah, she's she's absolutely amazing. There's no question about that. Why are that. you laughing? I'm just laughing at how you pronounce everybody's names. <laughs> <laughs> it was because I know it's Cantor, but I just I know, saw from here it's Carter. You know, I know, I just I love it. I love it about you. It's one of my it's favorite good. things. Shut up, John. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think Roslyn is probably is probably actually favorite for the uh, well, one of the favorites for the individual gold medal as well. So I'm not um, going to attempt Laura's last name. Go ahead. <laughs> Call it. <laughs> and she's on... Call that. <laughs> Call that. She's on London 52. Yeah. I always want to say London 54 because I like right. Studio 54. <laughs> right. So I always say, she's on London 54. Briggs goes, no, nope, it's 52. Uh, yeah. Another great pair. Yeah. I mean, uh, five-star winners. Um, extremely good in the dressage. Um, very strong. Yep. Yeah. So what happened, Laura, I think, had an unfortunate glance off it, it, in Tokyo on the same horse, right? Yeah. She was in the lead. Yeah. Um, so that happens, though. That's the yeah. sport. And then who's our last one? Tom, Tom McEwen. McEwen. And not really the last because we have the reserve. And Tom's on uh, DL Dublin. Correct. Yeah. Cool is it, horse. Is it, is it DL? I can't, I can't see really from here. I think it's JL. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. Looks like a J. I'm just, I'm just yeah. asking. I think maybe you should start putting the paperwork together. <laughs> I'm just asking. You've done an amazing job. You're very good at putting the paperwork together. I'm just saying. I saw, I saw this horse running at, um, in his last run. It's really a cool horse. I mean, I've seen him go a lot. But this, this one, he's got a lot of faith in. What do you think? Yeah, no, it's a, I mean, Tom's obviously a fantastic rider, and, and Dublin's a good horse. Um, it's, you know, it, it's very, very good in the dressage. So, solid in the show jumping and, and a good cross country horse. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think uh, you know. I think we'll, we'll be interested to see uh, how he, how he copes with the time on cross country on a twisty track. Um, but it gets, I mean, gets a bit strong, doesn't it? It gets a little bit. Yeah, it just gets a little bit strong, especially towards the end of the track. Be like chink in their armor um, for the U.S. Right there. So uh, you know, I think. Um, but look, they've got a. They've got a team of five-star winning riders, five-star winning horses. And then the, um, I know the I know the Olympics isn't sort of five-star level anymore, but I think when you're when you're starting out with that certainly helps. that kind of uh, category, um, you um, you probably have to start out favourites. Um, but like you said, Laura had a had a you know a little mishap there in Tokyo and I think uh, as we said earlier with three in the team no discard count it uh, it does make it a very exciting competition these days I agree what about the reserve 
Yeah, I mean, I'm sure she's disappointed to be reserve. It's pretty um, hard. It's amazing. It well, yeah, team. It? Well, let's say it's Yasmin, Yasmin Ingham. Yeah. Um, and this was a hard. I mean, for me, I, I, it's a, it was a hard team to put together. I think, for at least in my mind, I don't know in yours, but I, is this the right order? Yeah, I mean, you know, we we don't we don't know everything. I think um, I think obviously uh, probably Rosalind and, and Laura were were very much in. I think uh, then between Tom and Yasmin, I think uh, you know I think that they were the two fighting for that third spot probably. And uh, I mean, Tom's got a little more experience, doesn't he? Yeah, but then Yasmin's world champion. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's okay. <laughs> It's a nice spot to be in when you got to make those kind of choices. Just, just one of four short at Le Moulin. Le Moulin, yeah. Um, you know, That's why I was, um, when I was there, I, when I was um, doing this, I saw that and I was like, mm. Yeah. I think I, to, and I'll say it, I, I love Tom. Tom, I love you. Uh, don't know you very well, but I have met you. But I would have had Yasmin on the team. Yeah, I, I really don't think it matters. Um, that's, it does to them. It does, <laughs> does to them. doesn't to me. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move to Germany then, huh? Where are they? They're coming up. I don't know why they're not in here. Maybe I did it on purpose. Did you? Well, there's, a, there's a lot of anticipation here. I know. Germany got left off. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do this. Why don't we take a break and find that. Germany? That is really good, though. That's that great. must be an omen. <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's take a pause. A good one. We do need to check in with some. We need to check in with some sponsors. <laughs> we're going to find Germany. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk about Germany next, right after the, this break. Yeah, thanks, Jan. Does that, does that work? Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> thanks, Equibrew. Oh yeah. Sorry, Equibrew is awesome. <laughs> For a horse owner on the road, your trailer is essential. No one enjoys being stuck on the road. At Horse Trailer Pros, we repair, renovate, and maintain all makes and models of horse trailers. We work directly with your insurance company or manufacturer for warranty repairs and insurance claims. Our state-of-the-art facility provides quick turnaround and friendly customer service. Considering a living quarter conversion, we do those too. Find comfort on the road with Horse Trailer Pros. Call or text 352-804-2131. Horsetrailerpros.com. Hey, it's John here. I just want to let you guys know I got back from schooling at Magnolia Sands Farm here in Ocala, Florida. The cross-country field is perfectly suited for a first outing on a young horse or schooling your upper-level horse. Magnolia Sands offers over 110 jumps ranging from starter to intermediate plus multiple banks, ditches, and waters. They're constantly updating their courses and have even added new ditches and a starter ditch wall. Conveniently located in Northeast Ocala, Magnolia Sands has made it easy for riders and trainers with online waivers, Venmo, and PayPal, and even offer a golf cart for guests. MagnoliaSandsFarm.com Reset, reboot, rebuild, restore. Experience the transformative power of our formulas you can trust. Elevate your horse's well-being from the inside out with Parkmore Supplements. European designed, American manufactured, and Kentucky Proud certified. Parkmore's Devil's Own Detox. Nature's own binding agent, cleansing your horse's system. Now available for your canine kids too. Say goodbye to unwanted elements and hello to vitality. Parkmore Special Vitamin Mineral Supplement. A micronutrient powerhouse. No fillers, just four ounces a day for a five-star adventure to thrive. Because excellence deserves exceptional nutrition. Parkmore GLF Immuno Booster. Unleash the magic gold, the number one building block for cell replication. Elevate wellness and recovery for your horses and dogs, whether after training, travel, competition, or during periods of injury, illness, or surgery. Parkmore HI Oil Infusion. Customize your blends of herbs and spices to naturally combat inflammation, bacteria, and restore gut flora. Elevate your horses and dogs' appetite naturally. Expert guidance awaits. For more information, schedule an online telephone or on-site consultation with Fleur or one of our dedicated team members. Visit parkmoresupplements.com or call, text at 502-265-8345 to elevate your companion's well-being today. Since 1950, Maison Forestier has been offering its know-how to design custom-made saddles for passionate riders. In 2016, Maison Forestier took a turn and expanded into the sports world with the goal of improving the performance of the rider-horse pair. You will find a professional, reactive, and fun team to answer your needs. And this is why I have chosen Forestier for all of my saddle needs. Feel free to contact the saddle expert in your area for more information by visiting www.forestier.com. 
Welcome to the hunt. The pursuit of greatness awaits and we're on a mission to conquer our goals. Every step we take, every lift we make, we are driven by an insatiable hunger for excellence. There are no limits, no boundaries that can hold us back. We may have different objectives, but we share a common purpose, to push beyond our limits and achieve the extraordinary. Like a pack of fierce and unstoppable warriors, we stand united, a community of relentless individuals who refuse to settle for mediocrity. Obstacles, they're just stepping stones on our path to success. We welcome them, learn from them, and rise above them. We celebrate each other's victories and lift each other higher, inspiring greatness in one another. At CrossFit eFit, we don't just hunt for success, we embody it, breathe it, and conquer it. Prepare yourself because this isn't for the faint-hearted. This is for those who crave the thrill of pushing beyond the ordinary. CrossFit eFit on the hunt. <laughs> Welcome back to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros. Thanks to Jump for Joy for this amazing studio. Don't y'all all like it? Love it. Yeah. I Great. like the lamp. In fact, Jump for Joy. Actually, yes, just briefly before we go to Jump for Joy, that is actually from Leslie. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, that's Leslie's uh -huh. chandelier. So yeah. thank you. So everybody You're that's welcome. listening and not watching, we're pointing at a chandelier that Leslie bought for our show. Yeah. yeah. Don donated. 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 Yeah. And Jump for Joy are a big part of both of y'all's lives in yeah. your jump fields. I have a great Jump for Joy cross-country fence. So, great place to get your, your jumps. Very much. They're great jumps. Really are. Yeah, sure. they're awesome. I was actually just up at the Merciers Farm. Got to go teach a clinic up there. It had been, I think, like five or seven years since I was right. up there and used all their Jump for Joy jumps in the ring and moved them around in the cross-country. It made life super easy to... Yeah set everything up you yeah wanted. it's really cool so you need you need thank some you to jumps. sandy and tom yeah, yeah. thank you very much because it's appreciated and you need some new jumps order them from there same with horse trailer pros get your horse trailers in there get them ready to go because it's almost fall could you believe it it is and here we are paris take it over so less we did find germany for the record guys <laughs> Rick had done all of the work. He did a great job. He even pronounced <laughs> Germany correctly, which was very exciting. And it was in here. It just was at the back. It is. And we need to, re um, Briggs, our fact guy, we need to correct. Laura Collette did not have a run out at Tokyo. She had a run out at the World Championships on the slide down. So we just wanted to correct that. Right. Right, the, Leslie? Yes. Yes, it is corrected. So we're on to Germany, Les. Yes. There, We've go. got... Sandra Offarth, Michael Young, and Christoph Waller, and then Julia... Kerensky. No, I think it's Krajewski. Krajewski. Okay, we're going to go with that. I think it's Krajewski. Um, that's not what they said in the documentary. Krajewski. Okay, I'm going to go with you then. Okay. Um, so that's the team in the alternate. So the, obviously Germany is a really strong team. What are your thoughts on these guys? Yeah, I mean, very strong. I think, you know, like I said, Brits have started favorite, but I think it's going it's to be a very close game. Um, obviously with Michael Young in there, I mean, you know, again, that, that could be the individual gold medal as well. Um, so, I mean, a super strong team. Uh, they look, they look good. Uh, they were, they're competing in Arca and they looked very good, um, very professional. And, um, I'm sure they'll probably be starting with a little smile on their face, letting, letting the Brits start favorites and, uh, probably just hoping to go and snatch it off them. Right. So a little input on, on Germany's team, but um, Julia was is the reigning gold medalist from the last Olympics, is that right? Yes. And she won Aachen this year. Yes. But she's a reserve. That's right. That says, that says everything right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it gets that Great says, Britain and Germany right there. <laughs> that's a team, isn't it? I mean, that says everything. You yep. know, you've got, uh, you know, um, Germany's, you know, Julia's reserved for Germany. She won, she won the last Olympics. Uh, Yasmin is reserved for, for GB. And, um, and she's, she's the world champion. Yeah. yeah. It does say a lot, doesn't it? Says it says a lot. <laughs> Let's go on. What, what's after Germany? Uh, who do we want next here? Where are we at? Just pick what you want. I don't know how this book works. I don't know. 
What but team are we going go to, to New next? Zealand. West? Which team do you want? Yeah, Australia. Let's, let's, New, New Zealand? Zealand. Let's right. do New Zealand. Let's New Zealand. Australia, right there. Let's go okay. to Australia. Like we said, let's go to Australia. Yeah. Okay, Australia. So we yeah. got Christopher Burton, Kevin McNabb, Shane Rose, and Shanae Lowings, who I apologize if I, if I ricked that name. <laughs> I like that. That's the Rick name. I like it. So you mentioned this team is like they're, Australia is always great at the Olympics. So what are your thoughts on these guys? Yeah, I mean Australia have a have a great record. I think they they won the I think they won the team gold medal at three consecutive Olympic games. I think I, I think I'm right in that. Um, you know, Christopher Burton took a uh, took a little break um, and went pure show jumping, right? Um, and and still is and still is doing you know a very high level of pure show jumping. Um, so you know, and but he's he's come back for this. And I mean, he's super, super competitive. Uh, I saw him on, on the horse uh, actually in Mill Street. And, uh, you know, he doesn't look like he's stepped away from the sport for, for one minute. I mean, he fabulous dressage, cruised the cross country. Great hair. Great show jumping. Um, really? Okay. You know, and, okay. um, you know, I mean, Kevin McNabb, loads of experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, so... Um, and then Tim. Um, no, Shane. That's New Zealand. Oh, sorry. Already <laughs> you were the one who flipped the face. Shane, Shane, yeah. <laughs> you're, trying, Shane you're trying to put me out. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> and Shane Rose, who's... I mean, I don't know how many Olympics he's been in now. Um, so, you know, three very experienced guys, very competitive. Uh, they've um, they've got to be in with a shout. And, uh, you know, and... But... I think there so, are there are stronger countries this year. So would you say like, and I, at the end here we want to get into your predictions, but like if you had a dark horse team, would that be it? Um, or are they better than a dark horse? Yeah, I think they're they're probably better than that because uh, because of the the experience of those of those three guys. Quite honestly, you would you could never count them out. Um, I think again, I think Chris Chris is going to be right up there in the individual competition. Um, so, yeah, they're, I wouldn't call them, um, I think they're better than dark horses, yeah. All right, well then you have to think, just think at the back of your head, I'm gonna mm -hmm. ask you that question. Yeah. Now we got New Zealand. All right. Have I got to name these? With a, yeah, go for it. All right. You speak better English so we than got, of us. So we got Clark Johnston, and we got Janelle Price, and Tim Price, obviously, husband and wife, and, uh, their reserve is Caroline Powell, which, uh, Again, I mean, it says a lot about the competition this year. Their reserve has just won badminton. Um, <laughs> and I would like to think if I won badminton, I was a shoe in for it. For, you would, for the, you for would the, typically for the, think. For but, the Olympics. But do you think that's because, does that have anything to do with the fact of what the Olympics are now? Yeah, I think, I think obviously it, it, it's a consideration. But I mean, when I look at... Uh, you know, I've watched Caroline on that horse for a number of years. I'm, I'm a big admirer of that combination. I mean, Caroline's obviously got tons of experience as well now, and I, I really like that mare. Um, have done for a couple of years. She's, she's, good in the, she's good in the dressage. Fantastic show jumper. Um, you know, and again, I mean, I would have thought, you know, with, with the cross country being more four-star than five-star, and she's proven that she could, you know, cruise around badminton this time and you know i that, that's 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 a bold call to uh have that have that one as your reserve i mean okay obviously, so who would you take off the three to put her in um i don't know i mean i think again i i, I would probably go with janelle and tim and i i mean personally i'd have gone with caroline right. um i would you have know too. i sorry clark um but i mean when you win badminton i like you said, is that something to do with the Olympics being more four star than five star? Possibly, but I think that's an out and out competitive right. combination at that level as well. Well, and I think as Aachen showed, even at the four star level, it can be a cross country competition, can't it? Oh, very much so. You know, if, if they've if they've got the time right, and uh, you know that the the time is competitive. You know that that's what makes the competition is when riders have got to go for the go for the time, and then that's right. that's when mistakes happen. So I mean that's so, 
you know, that that's so, so important that, you know, the cross-country time isn't, you know, just an easy get. Right. Yeah. You get it fast and yeah. suddenly people make some mistakes. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to talk about Canada because we should. Yeah, we should. They're um, our neighbors. They're our neighbors. Make, yeah. That would make yeah. our houses better if we talk <laughs> probably, about Canada. Probably. <laughs> I think there's a... Uh-huh. And we had Carl on uh, a little while ago. Well, all four of these writers have uh, been good, good friends of all of ours. Exactly. So, Let's go yeah. through them. So we got Jesse Phoenix, Carl Slesak, Mike Winter, who is the only one who's based in Europe, and Colleen Loach as the reserve, which I know she didn't win badminton, but Colleen's been a pretty uh, consistent team member for Canada lately, so I thought that was a interesting that, I, you know, I can't say that I'd take any of the guys I, off, but I thought it was interesting she wasn't on. I, I my input is, I they called it right. Okay. Well, good. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, you you've got good experience. Um, you know, I think. Uh, I mean, I think the riders are obviously they're very capable and they they totally deserve to be there uh, in this level of competition. I think the horsepower is is a little bit wanting. Right. Um, but I mean, they'll they'll be there. They'll they'll give it their all. They'll have a great go. Um, but I think you know they're you know this time they're the level of horsepower is is going to leave them a little bit short probably. So maybe maybe a potential dark horse. Right right next mm-hmm. is France. We'll see. Oh yeah. So here we go. On to the okay. hosts. Yeah. The French. You can say these names less. <laughs> so we have four. <laughs> four. <laughs> Three on the team. One on the reserve. <laughs> Karen, uh, what's that next one? Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie Nicholas, and, and Nicholas Toussaint. You did. I was gonna say you didn't even pronounce the first two last names. I didn't I know, notice that. I know. I thought I was quite clever. <laughs> 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 and now I'm really concerned about the. the that, I, you know what? I'll and say all of them. Yeah. Yeah. This is Greg Likas. Perfect. And then I think the first one is Karim yeah. Lahog. Yeah, you killed it. Stephanie Landois. Yeah, brilliant. Nicholas Toussaint. Yeah, Toussaint. And what do we say? Greg Lacaz. Yeah. I'm basically French. That was good. Yeah. Thank you. I don't, I don't know much about this team. Um, no, I mean, I think it is, I think, obviously, you've got Nicholas in there. And, uh, I mean, great experience. Um, Karim has good experience as well. They're, you know, they're the home nation. They're going to be pumped. They are. Um... You know, I always think the French, they, they go out there, they're great to watch. They, they give it a go, and uh, they're often either hero or zero. Well, that's to say they go for it, don't they? <laughs> they don't go out there and protect it. They don't go out there just to, you know, just to have a competition, to be a part of the competition. They're, they're going to be pumped, and they're going to go out there and have a go. And like I said, I always think of them as hero or zero. Right, Ali, 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 isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> so I believe the competition has 11 um, na- national teams starting. Um, I know we have Jap- Japan on there. Uh, Did we have another teams. one we wanted? Who, who would you like? I don't know. Name somebody. I don't, I feel it's like not on the list. Well, we got New Zealand. We did Australia. Did we get everybody? What about Ireland? Let's yeah, do we Ireland. Ireland. Where's Ireland. We do have right? Ireland. Do you know where they are? You, you mm-hmm. put it together. I do. <clears throat> Wow, look at that. So there we go. Thank God I asked. Yeah. Ireland. Let's go for it. Yep. Susie Berry. Yep. Uh, Sarah Ennis. And Austin O'Connor. And the reserve. Aoife Clark. And just... You pronounce to, those names way better. Just, <laughs> just a note to everybody. We got uh, Elisa's Irish mare uh, from Aoife. Oh, right, cool. Yep. Ooh, maybe a future guest. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. Good job, man. So right. this team looks pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a solid team. Obviously, Austin won the five-star in Maryland last year. Um, great cross-country horse, very good jumper, um, good in the dressage. Um, Sarah, um, you know, a member of their, uh, I think, what were they, silver medal at uh, Tryon at the World Equestrian yep, Games. Sarah right. was a part of that. Um, I think this might be Susie Berry's first Olympics. Uh, but a you know a good good team, great cross country yeah. riders. It'll be fun to watch. Great horse nation, um, you know. So uh, yeah, 
you know, I love the Irish, and I hope they have a good crack. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, so we, what we're going to do, what I believe we should do is first mention this. So a lot of people don't realize the reason we have two show jumps is because at one point, and I don't remember what year, Leslie, I don't know if you know, we used to award two medals. I remember exactly he what He knows year exactly. Was. Was, it, was it your year? Was yes. it your year? So that was the first year we did the show jump, two show jumps. Yes. 2004. 2004. And where were, where were we? Athens. And you won the? Olympics. <laughs> so. Gold, baby. Before that, before that. They Actually, were, I can't believe we didn't, we should have made you bring the medal. I know. Oh, that would have been smart. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, we're not pretend. smart. Uh, Actually, if you're listening, he's wearing the gold medal. It looks great. If you're watching, <laughs> don't it's tell. invisible. I'll bring it for the pre. No, for, not the previous. The, previous. Post. the yes. recap. The recap. So, so the reason that all happened that people don't understand is at some point somebody said, "Hey, you can't win two. You can't give an individual and a team medal for the same." competition. Correct. You had to change something to make it two separate competitions. Well, that's kind of right. That is originally because they did... They first they first changed it for 96 in Atlanta. Right, where they had um, two competitions. Where they had two competitions, right. two separate competitions. So you either, you either rode in the team or the individual, unless you had two horses, in which case you could ride the one in the team, one in the individual. And that's when David um, won because he had custom David, no, David, So they had the same competition in Sydney. Right. And that's where, yeah, David was in the individual on Custom Made and won that. Yep. Um, so then, then they, they decided your, this, your, this, was too, this was a little expensive, having to set out two cross-country courses and, and everything else. So we got revised for Athens, which the deal was, you know, everybody's in the same competition. Everybody starts the dressage. Everybody does the cross-country. First round of show jumping. Team medals are decided. And then top I think 25. it's top 20, 25 um, in the individual rankings, then went and did it. And you, you took your score with you. Yes, yeah. You and, carried. Then, and then whatever happened in that additional show jump Correct. determined the, the Indivi- gold Individual Congratulations. Medals. Thank you. You did great. <laughs> <laughs> Two show jumping clear yeah. ranks. Boom. That's what so it So as I understand it, it one, more, <laughs> one more fact that I read was the team competition show jump is a meter 25. Yeah. At the Olympics. The second round can be up to a meter 30. Yeah, and it's usually slightly shortened course. A little bit shorter than So the, like than almost jump round. off, but not quite. Yeah. Yeah, a little, yeah. It's, um, but obviously it's, it's not, it's and, still an ultimate. You right. know, and I didn't, time. I didn't read this, but you might know, how far apart are those show jumps? Uh, the, the two rounds, mm-hmm. they're usually, um, usually like three hours. I think there's about a th- three, three hour break. Yeah, about a three to four hour break, I would say. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So you've got all the experience with this format. You know it. So with that said, let's go through. I want you to make some picks. <laughs> I thought you would. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to know, starting with bronze, going up to gold Are we doing for the team? teams. Yep. Teams. Teams first. So who's your okay. bronze medalist for the teams? Um, We're going to hold you to this. It's on record now. <laughs> no pressure. Well, I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with the USA. All right. So USA is bronze, silver. Um, well, I hope it's going to be Germany because obviously... <laughs> <laughs> you want Great Britain to win. Well, I'd like the USA to win. But, of course. <laughs> um, you know, because obviously I'm extremely involved now. Right. And, uh, I mean, I, I hope to God they actually go and win the gold medal. I think they're, they're very capable. And if they have a bit of luck, who, who knows? Um, but, I mean, on paper, it looks like GBR winning the gold medal. Um, right. And paper, paper comes into play when you're talking about it. Now, let's do paper. You did Great Britain gold, yeah. Germany silver, yeah. United States bronze. Let's yeah. go with heart. Go with my heart? Mm-hmm. Um, Not paper. This is tough because where is your heart? <laughs> <laughs> <It's high. laughs> I mean, no, I mean, no. If, it, if, if I had to speak from my heart, I, I, I would like, I'd like to see our guys do it. Yeah. I, I, hope, I hope to God they, 
you know, I think I think they're capable and. Um, that's a good heart. That's I a mean, good heart call. I hope. I, so if I come from my heart, I'd want the USA, and then Great Britain, and then I'd have Great Britain, and then I'd have Ireland. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're going with heart. Absolutely. Perfect. Right? <laughs> so we got we got paper. We got paper is yeah. uh, Great Britain, Germany, US. Yeah. We got heart, US, Great Britain, Ireland. Yeah. Okay, your turn. So, paper. There, there's your teams. So, wait, my turn. Yeah, What's you your, your prediction. My predictions. Yeah. Paper. Paper. Well, I mean, you'd have to take Great Britain, and then I think it's U.S., and then I would take Germany. On paper. That's what I would say. Yeah. I don't think the paper shows that, but that's okay. That's fine. This is my paper. <laughs> my paper says that cross-country really matters, and I'm skeptical of the Germans with one of their horses on cross-country. All right. Okay. That's well, just, that, that, that's, that's understandable. That's good. So that's, that's okay, my so you, prediction. Okay, so you've got your paper is Great Britain, U.S., Germany. 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 What's your heart? My heart is U.S.A., and then there's going to be a technical change in the scoring, so then it's going to be USA, and then it'll be USA. <laughs> Sweep of the medals in the team competition, never been done before. Yeah, that's smart. Now it'll be USA. <laughs> okay. And then. Careful now. Canada. <laughs> Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I just I was going to say something else. USA, Canada. <laughs> And then we'll go with Great Britain because Leslie's sitting here and I don't want him to get upset with me. Okay. All right. You? Um, I'm, paper, I'm paper in line with Leslie. Okay. Uh, my heart is U.S., um, Canada, and then Ireland. All right. That's my heart. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Perfect. Um, so let's go individual. I'll talk to you afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Great Britain, I love you. That's Not okay. that much. <laughs> I should have done Great Britain. I'm going to change my heart. No, too late. Too late. I'm changing it. No, no, no. U.S., Canada. No, U.S., Great Britain, Canada. You know why he does this, Les? Because then next show, when it's done, he can be like, no, no, no. That's not what I my, said. I changed my heart. And he's going to end And if the second choice is wrong, be like, no, no, that's what I said first. I wasn't quite booted out of bed. I'm back in. Okay. I'm okay. 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 Let's right. go with individuals. 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 Yeah, that's, whew, that's a... That's a tough one, huh? That's a really tough one. Um, I'm going to go with Rosalind Cantor, uh, not Carter. Um, <laughs> she'll do fine too, though. <laughs> Ros Rosalind Carter passed away and we pay our respects to her. So, Rosalind Cantor is in the Olympics. Yeah, I'm going with Rosalind. Um, I think um, super, super cool rider. Um, I had the chance to watch her again a little bit yeah. when I was over there for four weeks in Europe and um, just love the way she conducts herself. Love the way her horses go. They look happy. Um, and, you know, ultra professional. I mean, obviously, European champion, um, badminton winner. And um, I, think, uh, I think it's her time. And, I think, uh, and she really, I think she really deserves it just because of her whole horsemanship and the whole way she conducts herself. Yeah, definitely. And um, it's just an example to everybody else. So that's, that. that's my... You're, you're that's gold my, medalist. That's my gold medalist. Who's um, silver? Silver, oof, I mean, um, yeah, that's, that's, I'm going to give Boyd a shout. I think, um, I think, uh, you know, two show jumping rounds, that horse is, you know. Yeah, you got to, you got to play that into the, you the gotta, factor. Especially for the individual yep. competition. Mm -hmm. um, I think he can really, I think he can really do that I agree uh, with, with that, the too. two show jumping rounds. Like I said, I think he can be quick and clean on the cross country, and I think um, his dressage is, is is competitive enough. And with those show jumping rounds, I think I'm I'm going to give Boyd a shout. Yeah, in the bronze. Um, and then the bronze, I'm going to I'm actually going to go with uh, uh, Chris Burton from Australia. Um, so, um, so there we got it. Yeah, yeah. very good on the flat. And Double he, show jump rounds, good yeah. on the cross country. And I think, you know, good on the, I mean, he's fast. Chris is always fast cross country. And I think now with him having, you know, been doing the show jumping for a couple of years, 
Um, he's gonna he's gonna f feel very comfortable in that space. That's um, so uh, you know, and I think the horse the horse is a good jumper, but I just think he's gonna be, you know, he's just gonna feel very comfortable in that arena now, having been show jumping for two years. I agree with that. What's yours? So, Rosalind, Boyd, Boyd, Chris Martin, Chris. I'm gonna and we're just doing heart. I mean, we're just doing. All yeah, I'm just just my picks. So I'm gonna say first of all, I'm gonna qualify this by saying I'm a homer, and I'm okay with that. You're a homer. A homer. That's like you root for the home team. Oh, homer. that's called being a homer. I didn't okay. know that. So this is not that? like. Did everybody else know that? Yeah, everybody knows know that. that. <laughs> okay. Everybody. If you watch any sports podcast, you would. Sounds know that. weird. Go ahead, homer. Okay, so yeah. I'm a homer. So I'm gonna say the winner is gonna be Boyd. Okay. Then I'll put Roz as silver. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to be Coleman as bronze. Mm. That's the homer. Why There's two you, homers. I've got two in there. I've yeah, got, cool. Yeah. I'm just going to go homer all the way. <laughs> <laughs> all I'm right. going to go Caroline Gold. <laughs> yeah. Better, uh, Boyd. Silver. Silver. Will. Bronze. Good for you. But you didn't pick us to win. How can you do that? And then you didn't pick <laughs> us to win. I did. In my, I did. You US, did not. For my heart, I put USA Gold. Did he? Yes. I mean, his heart. Was that like the first time it was in your heart yeah. or the second yes. time? Yeah, it was and then, then he felt really bad about yeah. GBR. I, just, I, just, I left GBR out. I put them back okay. in. Okay, all right. All right. So I'm, I'm going to actually be right, everybody. So You picked every single team to win. I did? Yeah, I'm sure at some point I'm going to go back and replay this and be like, oh, wait, he went his third time, he picked it. <laughs> I was right about, unfortunately, I was right about the Pan Ams. I didn't mean to be right, but I was right. You're going to hang on to that. If so. so. <laughs> good job. Thanks. All right. That was a good show. So we, we heard it all here. Leslie. I, it's, it's always fun having Leslie here. Yeah. Well, no, I, I, thank you for having me. I mean, and I like our format. Everybody out there, if you like the format, if you didn't notice, because we had Leslie, we're all close friends. We just wanted to chat, like a fireside chat, right? But it's really hot out, so we got rid of the fire and put on the air conditioner. Which, thank God, <laughs> he got, got a new air conditioner in here, and it Ooh. works. Oh, amazing. it's so much better, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. excellent. Yeah. Yeah. It was, be glad you weren't here last well, time when we Carl was here. We were just like dripping <laughs> with sweat. It was terrible. Thanks to our sponsors, everybody out there, uh, Jump for Joy, Horse Trailer Pros, which is our t title sponsor. Yes. Couldn't do it without them. I just got my trailer back from Horse Trailer Pros today. Yeah. It looks like a million. My trailer just briefly here, is 25 years old. Yeah. It looks amazing. Is it Those a guys homer? do such a good job. You, I'm going to explain to you when we're done what a homer is. <laughs> we'll pull this up. But I'm it telling almost you, sounds like a Hummer. So that's why I'm well, like, I would love to drive a Hummer. Hummers are cool. Um, <laughs> that's not what I'm talking I, about. <laughs> it's not that kind of show. It's safe for kids. So the, uh, the, all I'm saying is my 25-year-old horse trailer looks, looks great. Like brand new thanks to Matt and his team over at Horse Trailer yeah, Pros. Super. So thanks... To those guys, they are awesome. And Good job, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Les, thanks for coming on. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, All Leslie. Right. Gold we're gonna, medalist. We're gonna 2004 go get some, Athens. We're going to go get some tacos. Let's awesome. Get tacos. Let's go thanks, get some tacos. Briggs. All right. We have an awesome show for you guys today. The greatest event of all time. Good news for the sport.